see there's this guy. His name is Doug. When he was growing up, he wanted to be a big time wrestler, big superstar. So growing up, he sacrificed everything in his life, including his body, to try to climb the ladder of success. And along the way, his friends and his family turned their backs on him. And it got him nowhere. At the same time that we're talking to Sam Farmer and bringing him in, another gentleman wanted in by the name of One Man Crew. One day, this guy looks in the mirror and does some soul searching. And from that day forward, being left with nothing in a dark, abysmal hell on earth, he decides to take action. One Man Crew had developed kind of a cult following in the United States on the independent wrestling scene. This heart, this spirit, carried this man halfway across the world to learn from the most dangerous men on the planet. But really made a name for himself overseas in Japan and Korea and was known for having just these brutal, brutal, hardcore matches overseas. And so I looked at this and went, I want him. I know what the fans and the people of Lima, Ohio want, and they want to be entertained. And in my opinion, the best way to entertain is to bring violence to the table. This man, oh my gosh, I mean, he gave me chills. I might take one of these light bulbs, bust it on my own knee, cut my own chest open with it, lick the blood off of the, the broken glass, and then use it to carve somebody's head open. Bruiser TV was on fire. The internet pay-per-view was still getting talked about. The best of 2012. Bruiser TV was getting so big and so popular so quick, you couldn't ignore it anymore. I busted my ass to get where I am. And no ham and nigger, dime a dozen, job boy who works for $5, a hot dog and a Coke is going to take my spot. Everybody who contributed to that led to its success. We had also been promoting One Man Crew versus Dark Lion on television. What is me, one man to the Krizu? It's my 30th birthday, February 24th on a Sunday, and I just happen to be in my car about to pull out of the driveway and head up to Lima, Ohio. It was going to be a hardcore match, and it was. The Dark Lion, I'm going to produce blood from your skull. And let me tell you... One man crew in the his house! Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special attraction for you here tonight. It's one man crew versus the Dark Lion in a Japanese-style death match. One man crew known for his death matches in Japan. The Dark Lion known for his work in CZW. One of the most hardcore promotions in the United States. The man crew with a boot to the midsection. Reversal right into the garbage can. The Dark Lion means business here tonight, folks. One man crew, as the Dark Lion pointed out, had ran his mouth for weeks, ladies and gentlemen. He had actually threatened, not, not only threatened, but he swore to God that he was going to kill the Dark Lion. That's a serious threat. One man crew writhing in pain from that weapon to the midsection. Dark Lion says it's going to be a long night for One Man Crew, but what he doesn't realize is One Man Crew is one of the most dangerous, unpredictable, unorthodox wrestlers in the world. 
So he better watch what he says and he better watch what he does because one man crew can turn the tides in the drop of a hat. At the drop of a hat, the tables can turn and the dark lion will be the one in trouble. Shoots him into the turnbuckle. Charges him, moves out of the way. He's hung up into the ropes. That looks very painful, ladies and gentlemen. I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. I mean, crew changes his mind, throws him, throws him outside the ring. What's he gonna do? Oh my goodness, what a devastating forearm to the back. That's like taking a baseball bat between the shoulder blades. When their crew looks like he's looking for something, what's he got under there? A fluorescent light tube. One man crew wrestled against the great Sasuke. Oh, punched him right in the back of the head. That could cause a concussion. He could go to the hospital right now, folks. That's, a, that's serious business. Oh, my God. To quote Joey Styles, oh my God. And now he is carving his face up. Carving his face like a pumpkin. One man crew completely disregarding the safety of the fans here at ringside. Slams his head into the merchandise table. One man crew better be careful with that chair. Those chairs cost a lot of money. Obviously, he doesn't give a damn. One man crew, what's he gonna do? Send him into the post. Reversal. Face first into the post. Here's the replay, folks. Devastating blow as that light tube shatters into a million pieces. One man crew complaining about his testicles. And uh, the Dark Lion, uh, I don't know where he saw One Man Crew's penis, but it's definitely not two inches. I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, I never saw One Man Crew's penis, so I, I wouldn't know. But uh, I know all the, the ring rats, they, they told me One Man Crew has a very, very large penis. Slams his head into the ring apron. Spine first into that ring post. It's well documented, ladies and gentlemen, that one man crew has a slip disc in his lower back from a match he competed in in Nagoya, Japan, just merely months before this matchup. Reversal into the chairs. The Dark Lion is a very tough contender. He's a very serious threat to one man crew as is one man crew is to the dark line. These two bulls, both from very hardcore promotions. The dark lion known for his work in combat zone wrestling, and one man crew known for his work. Oh, devastating leg drop. Is that gonna be it? One, two, and a kick out. As I was saying, folks, one man crew known for his work in Japan, he, he's wrestled them all. He's tagged with Jun Kasai, wrestled the great Sasuke, and many other legends. One man crew's in trouble with his bear hug, squeezing him right where his slip disc is in his back. Perhaps one man crew will tap out, but I don't think there's any quit in one man crew. One man crew trying to fight out of it, but to no avail. He seriously, he may, he may, he may have to give up. This is far too devastating. The referee just standing there. Perhaps you should check on the well-being of one-man crew. Oh, here we go. 
if, if, if that hand drops three times, it's over, folks. And no. One-man crew catching a second win here. Clubbing forearm to the back. Stiff right hands to the face. Shoots him in the ropes. Drop down. Ninja kick to the chest. Oh my goodness. That could have shattered his breastbone. Rolling clothesline. Very impressive maneuver. Death Valley driver. That should be it. One, two. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over with that modified version of the Death Valley driver. One man crew with the chair now. Finally, he's going to get to use that chair. Perhaps he will wrap it around the skull of the Dark Lion. Perhaps he will give him a concussion. Perhaps he will give him severe brain damage. Perhaps he will claim the life of the Dark Lion and fulfill his promise of killing the Dark Lion. He's going to catch a murder charge here, folks. He's dead. He's dead. There's no way. That's how you do it in Lima, Ohio. Yeah. One man crew says that's how we do it in Lima, Ohio, but I have a feeling if people in Lima, Ohio did this, they'd all be in prison. One man crew is lucky that he's not arrested right now, right here on the spot for attempted murder, folks. Hits a chair on his skull. Hits the ropes. Off the ropes again. What's he going to do? leg drop crushes the skull of the dark lion and it's got to be over folks i haven't seen a leg drop that devastating since hulk hogan brothers and that's it that's all she wrote one man crew the victor of this matchup one man crew is beyond a shadow of a doubt the baddest man on planet earth and he just proved it right here one man crew Here's the replay. One man crew is living proof that it doesn't matter how hard you fall, you can get right back up and grab life by the throat and squeeze the life out of it. One man crew delivered on his promise. I'm surprised he's not in handcuffs right now. This guy in the dark line, even though I don't like you, I respect you. I appreciate you did.